consider the combustion of butane. So you have butane over here reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. 10 grams of butane reacts exactly, right? So what mass of water is produced? So the highlight of the question is butane over here and the water produced over here. We'll focus only on these two. So let's see if we can do it. All right, again, any question moles related can be divided into three parts. We just convert. Apply ratios. And convert back to whatever quantity they're asking. Convert again. So first we need to find out the moles of butane over here. Butane is 10 grams over MR which is 58 that is 0.172 moles right now I have to apply ratios so the questions asking between butane and water now the ratio or the recipe is telling us the equation is telling us for every two butane, you're producing 10 water. So for every two, you're getting 10. So for every one, you'll get five. So if you have 0 0.172, you'll make five times as much, which is 0 0.862 moles. Those are the moles of Those are the moles of water produced. So we can figure out the mass of the water produced, which is rearranging the equation, moles times the MR. The moles are again 0 0.862 times the MR, which is 18. That brings our answer to 15 point, what is it? 52 grams. Easy. Our second question for the day, consider the reaction of sodium with oxygen. All right, considering it, how much sodium, how much sodium reacts exactly with 3.2 grams of oxygen? This is the amount of oxygen you have. How much sodium will react? So the focus of the equation or the question actually is sodium and oxygen. So let's do ourselves a favor, make these lines, right? And we have part one, which is convert, part two, ratios, part three, convert back. All right, first what we have to do is convert oxygen into moles. So let's do that. Moles is mass over the MR. The mass is three, 3.2 divided by 32. That comes out to be, I think, 0 0.01 moles. No, actually it is. It is just 0 0.1 moles. So 0 0.1 moles, kind of crowded, but yeah, 0 0.1 moles. So ratios time, uh, I'm gonna focus oxygen to sodium. Well, oxygen is 0 0.1 moles. Sorry, before that, let's focus on the ratios, which is for every one, you need four sodium, right? So for every one oxygen, you need four sodium. And if you have 0 0.1, you'll need exactly 0 0.4 moles worth of sodium. So we know the moles of sodium now. I can figure out the mass of sodium, which is going to be the mass is moles times the MR, moles is 0 0.4 times the MR for sodium is 23. My answer comes down to 9.2 grams. Part B of the question is asking, what is the mass of Na2O that is produced? So what is the mass of this produced? So we've done most of the work. We figured out the moles of this thing. So can we figure out the moles of Na2? Just applying ratios, because we already know the moles of oxygen because we're comparing it with oxygen and 
sodium oxide, then we can figure out the, um, what do you call it? The mass of that sodium oxide, because they're asking for the mass. So let's do that a little lower. Okay, so limelight is between oxygen and Na2. Oh, we saw the equation between them, the ratio is for every one, you end up making two Na2Os, uh, sodium oxide. So if you have 0 0.1, you're gonna end up making 0 0.2 moles. Now, you have to find the mass, which is, you know, pretty simple. Uh, that's moles times the MR. The moles are 0 0.2. The MR you have to kind of calculate, but we can do it very quickly. There's two sodiums, so that's two times 23. MR for sodium is 23, plus 16 for one oxygen, right? Let's do that, calculate it, and find out the answer. My answer comes out to be 12.4 grams. Don't forget your, to put your units. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced when 10.01 grams of calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate decomposes according to this equation. Well, we have to find out the volume of carbon dioxide. This is an interesting question because what's given to you is mass of calcium carbonate and you have to find the volume of carbon dioxide. So kind of a twist there. But you'll realize there's nothing to it. If you can do volume questions and mass questions, you can simply just do it. So let's figure out the moles of calcium carbonate, which is going to be the mass of calcium carbonate divided by the MR, which is 100, and you get 0 0.1001 moles. Now you have to apply ratios, and clearly we can see the ratio is one to one, don't have to do anything fancy, it's still 0 0.001. So right now, normally we'd use mass over MR equation, but we have to find the volume. The volume will be given to us by moles times 24,000 centimeter cube, right? Um, yeah, so how do I know a centimeter cube? Well, the question is just typed, but they would ask specify if it would have been in centimeter cube or decimeter cube, right? So this is 0 0.001 times, again, 24,000. This comes to about 2,402 centimeter cube. That's our answer.